next guest is a very, 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 very beautiful woman. Very beautiful, Jack. Very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Our latest film, uh, The Hangover Part 3, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jamie Chung, everybody. Jamie Chung. Jamie, it's very nice to meet you, I say. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm excited that you are here, but I'm trying to keep my creepiness at bay. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. You look very, very nice indeed. That's a very nice dress. It's shiny. Thank you. It is. It, it, it is. I noticed that you have an infatuation of snakes. I don't really have an infatuation. Is that snakeskin? No, it's not. It's pretend it snakeskin. Like it? Yeah. It it's, does. It's faux. Do that again. It's, it's faux snakeskin. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that's to, to, hang on a second. Uh, I, uh, I got my foot stuck in the thing. You must think men are, are men very clumsy around you? Like when I meet you, I'm like, hi. No, not at all. In fact, I'm the one that's pretty clumsy. Are you a clumsy person? Oh my gosh, yeah. I sprained my ankle not too long ago. I what were you doing? The things. Uh, it was a pillow fight. A pillow fight? <laughs> Good Lord, really? With a roommate, by any chance? It wasn't no, a pillow it fight. Wasn't, it wasn't very sexy at all. It was literally like we're trying to hurt each other. It was really a pillow fight? Yeah. That is I, so awesome. I stuck my foot out. I stuck my foot out in self-defense, and the pillow just hit me and hit my ankle the wrong way, so. The, was the pillow full of metal? <laughs> it was full of snakes. No, I, uh, no. Um, it, was, it was one of those, like, decorative throw pillows. They're, like, really hard and not that comfortable. Uh-huh. What were you doing? No. Having a pillow fight with decorative pillows? <laughs> I just get a little antsy. I turn into a little monster if, really? I, if I'm stuck in a room for too long. What makes you antsy? If you get hungry? That makes me Oh, I get, I get hangry. I get very get angry. angry. Oh. If I don't get food, I'm like, what? I know. Like that, uh, the yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think I'm angry, and I'm not angry at all. I'm just hungry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's called hangry. Hangry? That's the term, yeah. Oh. So you sometimes take words and then mix them with other words, eh? I, I believe you can find in the dictionary. Hangry? Oh, good. The well, that dictionary. makes me ha ha ha. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. <laughs> now, where are you from? I am um, born and raised in San Francisco. San Francisco. That's yeah. a very nice town. Yeah, thank that's you. That's lovely. Yeah, just. Do you uh, do you uh, what do they do in San Francisco? No, you probably don't do that. Do you uh, do you go to see the baseball? I do. I, I'm a huge Giants fan. Yeah. But, um, you know, everything, we kind of grew up by the water. So we, we do, like, fun things as kids. Like, we, we used to go crabbing. Crabbing? Yes. Is that... Is that good? Yeah, it's fun. I mean... You go and catch crabs and you eat them. Exactly. We throw nets in. We, we tie, like, raw pieces of chicken onto the net. It sounds gross. And then you, you wait for a couple hours and then you pull up the nets and you get crabs. I don't like eating crab. No? No. I, even if I'm hangry, I won't eat a crab. Oh. No, I don't like... Crabs. I No, I don't do... I don't like anything that walks sideways. I don't... I, know. Uh, I mean, they're bottom feeders. It's pretty gross. Yeah, they... they what about lobster? They're, do you eat lobster? So delicious. I love anything with... I love any shellfish. No, no. What about... Uh, what's that thing I had in New Orleans? Oysters. Do you eat them? I love oysters. I love How crawfish. How can you eat that? It's like snot. Crawfish. <laughs> It's just so delicious. No, I can't eat that. I'm sorry. No, I, I tried and... Have you tried it with Tabasco sauce? I've tried it... I love no, Tabasco I don't sauce. Think, I don't know, I... You should try it with some Tabasco sauce. Uh, I, I don't like Tabasco sauce. I'm I don't like Tabasco sauce and I don't like eating snot. So if okay. you combine the two of them... Do you still live in San Francisco? No, I actually, I just got a place in New York City. Congratulations, yeah, Brooklyn or Manhattan? You. Manhattan. Ah, I see. You Ethan Hawke's old place, did you buy it from? I did. Did you move yourself or did you have people move you? No, I, I, I moved myself. Did you really? It's quite hectic. Did yeah. you get a U-Haul? Um, no, no, not like that. I, like, hired a company, but then I told them where to put everything. Oh, yes, there. Uh... But I feel like that's so technically moving myself. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That, that is, that's it. <laughs> Yes, that's that's actress moving yourself. Yeah, that's lovely. Are you very? It must be very exciting moving to New York oh, City. Oh, it's great! You know, the first night we went out to dinner and we were walking, we're checking out the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I witnessed a robbery. <gasps> they was, don't usually have them in New York oh, anymore. No, 
Not since the 90s, yeah. What, was, what kind of robbery was it? Like well, a mugging? Kind of... It was so confusing because we were walking down the street and it was a beautiful night and all you hear is, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And we're like, what is going on? Is someone trying to catch a bus? Should we stop something? And you, I see this young girl carrying like um, a clear vase of cash. And she's like running down the street, like chucking cash into her pocket. And the woman who's yelling, excuse me, instead of thief, which is really confusing, yeah. um, was, was a waitress at a, a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant. So she had stolen the tip jar? Yeah. And oh. so she was running down the street and she chucked the jar and the woman stopped. But if only she yelled thief, then yeah. I feel like someone could have... No, it. no, don't do anything because that's how the movie Ghost starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then he's and then the mugging, and then at the end, and then the pottery. Do you remember the pottery? Yes, I do remember the pottery. It's very, it's very da, 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 thank you for doing this. <laughs> no, but do you believe in ghosts? I I do believe in ghosts. Really? Yeah. Have you ever seen one? No, but I, I stayed at this hotel in in Mexico City, and it was an old. It it, it housed um, nuns. It was an old nunnery. Yeah, that's not a hotel. <laughs> It was beautiful. I mean, it was it was built in the turn of the century. It was fantastic. But it was, um, it, I believe it was haunted. By nuns? <laughs> I would assume so, yes. No, you just I... heard noises and, and like, the sh you, you would hear, like, you would, yeah, you would just hear noises. Like, doors you mean, what kind of noise are we talking Like, doors or noises Foot like... steps. <laughs> that? <laughs> no. Is that like nuns playing the trumpet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, did you think I meant farty noises? I it sounded like a fart noise. What? Excuse you me. wouldn't know. I can't imagine you pass gas at all. That's not your no, thing, is it? Maybe the occasional <laughs> at Christmas, but that's it. More like Thanksgiving, but yes. Thanksgiving? Really? Do you have a very traditional Thanksgiving? With yeah, your crabs and your lobsters and your oysters? Uh, it's Yeah, I go back to San Francisco. My sister cooks this huge feast. That's nice. And it's really the only time my entire family gets together. Can I come next Thanksgiving? Sure. Right. Yeah. The only difference is we have, like, Korean side dishes with our turkey. Like, we have, like, kimchi. That's fine. I love kimchi. Oh, you do? I think I do. You do. What is kimchi? It's um fermented cabbage. Spicy. Yeah, uh, no. No? I like kimchi, but kimchi doesn't like me, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to hear the nun playing the trumpet, you give me a little bit of kimchi. It's, uh, okay. too much. It's, it's lovely to meet you, it really oh, is. You're a lovely you. young woman. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, I... Yeah. <laughs> And congratulations on moving to New York. That's oh, right. thank you. You should call Ethan. I, I think I, I, I met him backstage and I would not let go of his hand. I think he got really creeped out by me. No, he didn't. No? No. He literally was like, it was really, yeah, nice to meet you too. He's like trying to take his hand back. But I was like, ha ha, it's Ethan Hawke. No, I think he'll be fine. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Chong, everybody, we'll be right back. And then suddenly, sword play. <laughs> Did you? I mean, that was pretty impressive Thank stuff. Thank you. Well done. Were you? That, we, I saw the Sin City party at Comic Con. Were you there? No, I was not there. Oh. Um, I was. I was too working, cool, maybe, huh? huh? No, no, I love Comic Con. I would. I would have been there. Um, I was working on a different show, but you know, the sword play. I've done. I've done some sword play. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Like, but that, like the spinning around, coming up and killing men with machine guns. That's actually impossible. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> but it looks fantastic. Thank you. As you do yourself. I believe you. uh, you're engaged. I am. Congratulations. Thank you That's so much. wonderful. Thank you. So, when you get married? Um, you know. Not, wow. Wow. 
Look at that. Thank, yeah. It's, Is it he, Trump? <laughs> no. No, no, no. You surprised me. Um, <laughs> Uh, he, no, his name is Brian, and uh, we, we're not getting married until next year. Well, that's probably for the best. Yeah. He's going to have to save up some money after that. <laughs> Are you going to do anything special, like skydiving marriage, perhaps, or uh, no, wanna... underwater? N no, nothing, nothing too crazy. We want to keep it outdoors, and, you know, we want it to be like a weekend event, have our whole family come, and it's going to be nice. That's nice. Yeah, the yeah. first thing we did was, was hire a, um, a wedding planner. Because oh, yeah, that, that's not... It Going saves. It's easy. like it's. It saves the. No, no. I found. We found one almost immediately. But it literally saves the relationship. It's like. Yeah. Listen. I've been down this road a couple of times. <laughs> uh, at a certain point, I think uh, eloping is what you should do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The second time around, elope. Third. Third. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> second one, you know, you gotta be. Uh, remember, invite all the people that weren't at the first one. <laughs> It's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole... You'll be fine. I'm sure yours will be fine. Yeah. Uh, that, I was drunk. You see, that's... Uh, <laughs> right, you seem perfectly in control of yourself. Everything's fine. Um, we both have really large families, so... If we eloped, they'd... They'd, they'd kill you. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's he from? He's from... Uh, born in Nebraska. Grew up in St. Louis. Okay. American, then. Yes. Yeah, all right. It's very American. Very American. And your, fa your family are San Francisco, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But they're very Korean. What does that mean, very Korean? Um, are they very conservative? Yeah, they are. Oh, right. You know, they, they prefer to speak Korean in the household. And, right. You know, I'm You're... sure at one point they wanted me to marry a Korean man, but... I, <laughs> I think they'll be fine. Oh, they're fine. Yeah, fine. yeah, no, they'll be all right. But it, it really is like, um, like I said, it's, it's like saving a, a, mar a, a relationship. Yeah, I know, you know? because so you, get, you, you get somebody else to yeah. deal with and all just the crap. Like You're right. Furniture. I know. Like you guys, were, you guys, you and Simon were talking about Ikea furniture, and we had bought a piece, and we're just like, you know what, like, we'll just build it together, it'll be fine. But kid you not, like 10 minutes into it, we wanted to kill each other. <laughs> I mean. Wait until it's kid toys. Oh no. <laughs> That uh -oh. is crazy. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you get, like, a simple thing like a stroller. And you yeah. think, four wheels, little seat, move it along, right? Yeah. Now, how hard can that be? Wait. Wait and see. It's insane. They have things like you have to put the inside of the wheel. It's, it drives me nuts, is what I'm saying. It's one of those things where you literally have to, like, step away, like, take a ten-minute break, come back to it. But that's good, though. You're, are you in therapy? <laughs> See, what you should do in your relationship is get into therapy early before stuff goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's like preventative. Yes, exactly That's so. Not, I mean, I, 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 I'm not against therapy. I really do think that... No, I think talking out your problems is... I'm sorry for pointing my pipe. No, it's uh, fine. I, I, no, I was just kind of, you know, trying to emphasize my point. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in a lot of therapy. <laughs> and as you can see, it's been immensely it's, successful. Yes. <laughs> what scares you then? Oh, what scares me? Mm. Strange foods scare me. What scares you? Yeah, that's pretty scary. What are we talking about? Like spiders? Um, you ever yeah, eat a any... spider? No. Not no desire. No. Like, even grasshoppers or... What do you mean even grasshoppers? That's really out there. Yeah, it's that's out like, there. You're saying even grasshoppers like even pie. You know? <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I mean... I've ever, ever been to Japan? I have, I have been to Japan. And the one restaurant that I went to, they served horse sashimi. Well, first I did of all, not try it. you're not a real horse, so <laughs> knock it off. Uh, <laughs> did you try it? No, I didn't. I no, didn't. I don't think I, I, I could I do that. I went, to, uh, I went to a Japanese restaurant where I... I, I know a, a lot of people eat this, but I had never eaten before. Uh, was a sea urchin. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, no, you're completely wrong there. <laughs> No, it tastes like someone went to a very uh, dirty part of the ocean and got some of the seabed and put it in a roll. <laughs> I, it made me feel very bad. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't like it at all. Oh, man. Did you eat anything live? No, I, I, I can't do that. Okay. I mean, did, have you ever eaten a...? I mean, it, like a fresh tentacle, you know? 
Like they do it at the fish market, and you yeah, just... but it's uh, but it's not a tentacle that's attached to someone that. No, no, but it literally. Help me, like, help me. <laughs> I mean, they they literally like cut it off in front of you, and then they serve you, and it's still moving about, but it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> you lot are racists. <laughs> You are judging other people's cultures harshly. <laughs> Although I have to say, I mean, I really try and be, when I was in uh, Tokyo, I went to the fish market and they were, they, it's a, that's amazing. That's where it happened. Yeah, right. no, I know, it was down. available to me, I just didn't do it. <laughs> and there's nothing uh, I'm sure that these guys like better than seeing a big, uh, sweaty, middle-aged European <laughs> gentleman going, oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure they see it all the time. Yeah, they see it a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, I traveled around Japan a bit, have you been around there? No, I've only I've only gone to Tokyo for a couple of days. Tokyo is great, but yeah. Kyoto is crazy. I hear oh I hear my amazing Lord. things. You gotta get around. I have there. to go back. I'd like to go to Korea as well. Your family from South or North Korea? South. Yeah, because I think the North is kind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little tricky to get in right now. Um, I don't I don't even think that I've ever met anyone from North Korea. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not getting out either. No. It's, uh, it's tricky. It's very tricky. It's it's seldom, yeah. Yeah. I quite like to go. You've been to South Korea, right? Yes, plenty. Right. You know, I went on an exchange program when I was younger. My parents sent me to live with this other family for a month. Did you speak Korean? Do you speak I, Korean? I, I wasn't that I wasn't great at the time. But you but you will be. I now. got by, yeah. You can speak it fluently. I can. Good. It's it's a it's a bit of a hybrid. It's it's Konglish. It's um Konglish? Yeah. It's more it's if I don't know a word in Korean, I'll I'll say it in English. That's all right. So it'll be really random. That's all right to me, anyway. Yeah. I mean, uh... But to my parents, they're like, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, it would uh, probably enrage me if I was them. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the Sin City movie looks good, though. Is it good? It's, it, it was an interesting experience. Um, it's pretty wild. And it's all in 3D. It's It's the only way to beautiful. see a movie now. I know. It's lovely to see you. Yeah. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> I just think it would be a good idea if we tried something a little different, that's all. Yeah, okay. All, all right, right so, yeah. so I'll play a little bit of music, yeah. and you recite some creepy Edgar Allan Poe poetry. Yeah, that's fine. All right, you ready? That's fine. Once upon a midnight dreary. Now, see, it doesn't work. No. Because yeah, I'm doing this kind yeah. of lounge thing, Maybe and you're doing the ha. We'll do a loungy, kind of loungy. All right, do yeah, a loungy yeah. then, okay. Good to have you folks here tonight. Sing a little Edgar Allan Poe for you. You might know this one, it's called The Raven. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I ponder... Wait, 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 wait. You, yeah. you, sound, you sound a little bit like Willie, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Did. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. But I don't mind that. I mean, you want to go Willie? You want well, to go I'll give Willie? you some. I got, we can do it again. Here we go. All right, then. Yeah, yeah. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and ki Baby. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought that was good. I added baby. If Edgar Allan Poe was here, he'd have the said, hell? put a baby in. Yeah, he would totally do he that. He would have said that. He's a, he, in fact, it's probably in there. This is unabridged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I had a good time tonight, Jeff. You know, so did I, Craig. And I think we learned something. What did we learn, my friend? I think we learned that the piano people won't ever leave the piano behind again. <laughs> Good night, everybody.